guys, what's up, it's Bella. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it's raining. Do you guys hear the rain? It just knows I'm filming. This is horrible. <laughs> I'll be back when it's not raining. Okay, I'm honestly praying this rain just stops, but in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my everyday jewelry collection, all the pieces that I wear every single day of my life, where I get them, the quality, and then also the pieces that I wear when I want to spaz up my look and just revive it and make it really nice. I have the pieces as well to show you guys here. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. I post three times a week. Be sure to also like this video. It helps me out a lot. Thumbs it up and follow my Instagram and my TikTok that are on the screen right now. And all these products will be linked down below if I can't find the exact products I'll link similar items and without further ado let's get started I'm excited oh my gosh and the thunder is I guess excited too tiny little backstory I was never into jewelry like I literally could leave without it but I think the older I've gotten the more I've realized that like jewelry is such an essential and it just really just makes you look so good if you're not wearing makeup your hair's not done I feel like the jewelry like just grasps attention and just makes you look beautiful and i love that i'm here for that so yeah i've just never been like fully obsessed with it like i've had a few pieces every now and then growing up but i feel like it's been like this past like six months to a year that i've been like oh my gosh i love jewelry and i literally cannot leave without it like i'm just fully obsessed now i feel like that also came with age like i feel like that came with age as well okay so the first thing we're going to talk about are earrings these babies right here that i Hold near and dear to my heart. This specific pair is from Amazon. I think it's from like the Pavoli brand. I think that's what you call it. I'm not entirely sure, but I love these earrings. I'll list like all of the things on the screen that I love about them because I forget when I film, honestly. Like I am a very forgetful person. But something that I have always struggled with is ear infections from earrings. And then also I've always struggled with earrings being too heavy and like pulling down my ears. These are so insanely lightweight. Like they do not pull whatsoever. And they're just so simple and classy. Now these are the smallest version from the Amazon little seller. So if you're wondering, I will link them. Of course, they're amazing. I think they also have silver and rose gold. I do have two other holes, but I typically don't put stuff in those because I feel like I lose them. I really love the look of the one, but I am actually going to purchase some really nice like earrings soon that can fit in my second and third, just gold plated. And I want them to just be like simple, like little diamonds. I think they'd be pretty. And I also want this pierced. So we'll see. Maybe in a vlog, I'll get like this pierced. That could be super cool. And if you want to offer something more expensive than these like $10 little Amazon hoops, you can get these. These are from E. Newton. I love E. Newton. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it just fell so much. I actually got these at a store called Seaside Style at like Seaside, Florida. That's where I live, like around that area. So I was there one night and I picked these up and I really do like these. They're not as gold and like bright as the Amazon ones, but they are really nice quality as well. They do not tarnish. You can get them fully wet in the water, but so can these. So it's kind of up to you if you want just like a $75 pair, if you want like a really like cheap and expensive pair. I like to have both to be able to switch out between, but I do gravitate towards the Amazon ones more. Okay, let's hit the neck. This is the only necklace I wear on a daily basis because I love the simplicity of it. I really value like simple but meaningful jewelry. So this is from Etsy, an amazing seller on Etsy that I love. I've purchased now two of these. I do get a new one every single year just because it does end up fading You know the longer you wear it and I never take this off of when I sleep when I shower all that jazz This is the Figaro. I think that's how you say it 18 inch chain with a little my own like little personalization I'm Middle Eastern my mom's 50% Middle I mean, my mom's 100% Middle Eastern, my dad's 100% Middle Eastern, Lebanese, and then Iranian, and then I'm obviously Middle Eastern too. And so um, I value the word Habibi and love, ishq. So I always like to have the word love somewhere on me just to remember to love, to extend love. So this is actually in Farsi, and I'll show you something later that's in Arabic. But yeah, I have this on here, and I just love it so much. And it just reminds me to extend love at all points throughout the day, no matter if it's to a situation, love a situation, love a person, love anything. I just like having this because it is, like I said, meaningful but simple, and it's so Another necklace I like to wear to spice up my fits sometimes is this Christian Dior. I think it's called like the Denus Etelé Chokier. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I, I'm not good at saying that. But this is really beautiful. I have worn it paired with this before. But I like to have this like, you know, up a little bit more. So it can be like somewhat close to it. And this is really gorgeous too. I think I have a photo of me wearing it. So if I do, I'll throw it up on the screen. My mom also has one, which we are twins with this. But this is really nice. Just a really like bougie piece to add. You can wear it every day for sure. I would not get this in the shower though. Like I would not wear this in the shower. I would not 
get this wet because it is insanely expensive but it's a really nice piece just to bump up an outfit or you can honestly like I said wear it every day and just be bougie like that but I just like the simplistic this for every day you know something light but meaningful you know I just talked about this in my summer essentials which I will link down below you guys should totally watch that this is actually what I pair most with this necklace I feel like it doesn't clash as much as the Dior one does but this is from Martha Calvo it's the happy go lucky necklace I purchased this about three months ago two and a half three months ago and I love this necklace I think it has really fun elements to it. it has two like little Cuban little ropes right here and then it has like this right here and then pearls freshwater pearls all different sizes and then just different fun like little charms right here and I love the back of it like I love the little smiley face and I love how big this part is like to be able to clip on it's so easy to put on like my own necklaces with how big this little thingy is I'm gonna go ahead and put it on for you guys so you guys can see kind of how it pairs with my everyday necklace and I do not wear this one every single day this Martha Calvo one but I do wear it like maybe three four days a week on a daily basis so it just depends like my outfit's really simple I really want to spice it up I'll do this to add some color but other than that I'll just like I said wear this one okay so here's what it looks like I love this necklace I think it's really fun and like I said it's just like a statement piece I like it I love it so this is another little fun necklace to add to your collection obviously it might be a little too much for everyday use but really pairing it with cool outfits or like simple outfits that like spice it up let the neck do the talking can add just a huge like a, just a bigger vibe a much better vibe honestly I'm gonna leave it on throughout the rest of the video and these are typically the only like three necklaces that I ever switch off between I do like love layering but I'm gonna get more into like jewelry I promise but currently you guys can see my growth in another video but currently these are the three things that I'm dealing with okay now we're gonna talk about my wrist I only have two things on my wrist right now so I have this little Gucci I don't know I've had this for like a year so Gucci love pendant it's a heart and it says Gucci on it nothing crazy I got matching one with my mom it was like a best friend thing that we did so I have that I never take this off I wear it in the shower I wear it all night every day like like, I just never take this off and it's held up super well and I love it it's just like really nice and simple also something that people don't like to do a little side note is like mixed metals I love mixing metals like I love having like gold jewelry and silver jewelry I think it looks beautiful so that's why I personally don't have a problem with this being silver and this being gold I just think it adds a little a bit of spice but I love mixing metals um, around my room I have gold I have silver I just have a lot of different like textures of it and like colors like a lot of just like mix match and I love that so that's another little side piece side thing so obviously we just talked about this necklace but I also have the matching little bracelet so this is just the Christian Dior bracelet I put it on myself today so it's a little big I was struggling if you guys would have seen me you would probably laugh your head off I was like standing there and I was like trying to like maneuver it to hook it and I know it's like too big but I hooked it and that's all that matters but yeah this is just another little fun bracelet I used to have an Adina's jewel one but I lost it it literally slipped off it just popped off and that's because it was like a Cuban link so you like push it into each other but this one I like it how you have the clasp because it does not fall off but yeah I just love like the simple bling on my wrist and maybe one day it will become more but for now this is what I'm dealing with okay moving on to my babies my rings I talked about these rings in my summer essentials slash favorites video so again, if you haven't seen it, be sure to watch it. And I also talked about my nails. I got these done in my birthday vlog, which I will also link down below for you guys. But look how fun these are. Like, ugh, these nails are so beautiful. Not me going out of focus. <laughs> okay, which hand should we start with, left or right? Mm, I'm thinking right. Okay, so my right hand has three rings on it. My first ring is from Martha Calvo. It's just the pinky smiley face ring nothing crazy to it I just loved how like again simple this was and it just has like a little adjustable feature on it so you can make it smaller or bigger compared to your finger I have it on like the tightest like little closure as tight as I could like push it through is what it's on but it just slips right on my pinky and I think it's really cute I love little pinky rings so I'm here for this one fully fully and it like matches the back of this not that anyone's gonna notice that but I know that so it's okay Okay, so moving on to my ring finger, I have the other little Arabic little nameplate thing I was talking about. So this actually says Habibi on it, and this is also from Etsy. This has worn, I will say. I only got it like three months ago, and it's fully like worn and not like gold anymore, but it's fine. I still love it. It still means a lot to me. So this actually says Habibi in Arabic, and this says love in Farsi. Habibi is like my love, and then love means like ish. So little Arabic slash Farsi little lesson for you guys but I keep this on here my cousin has a matching one as well we're best friends and I just love it 
I love having like my culture always like around me as much as possible because I fully love my culture so much. Okay, and on my middle finger, this little beautiful baby right here. This is again the matching piece of the choker, the bracelet, and now the ring. This is just the Dior ring. I have this in a size, I want to say a medium. Yes, I have it in medium and this fits me super well and I just keep it on here. And I know a lot of people flip it like the other way. So like when people are looking at your hand, they can see the CD their way, but I don't care if anyone else sees it. I want to see it. I want to look at it. I want to read the CD. I don't want anyone else to read it. So I have it facing me. That's it for this hand. If you guys know where to get the cute like, little thumb rings, let me know because I'd be so down for like a little thumb action. Maybe something with diamonds, but... This is all I have on this hand. I know people have like their whole hand filled, but again, this is what we're dealing with. Okay, and then here is my left hand. This one is also super chill. So we have my ring finger. I have this like little ring from Pandora, me and my cousin. This is our best friend ring. And so I think every single year from now, we're gonna get something that resembles our friendship. So this is this ring. I'm trying to show you guys the best view, but it's just gold and it has like little silver little i don't know what these are definitely fake but some sort of like crystal i guess and so i just keep that on here i just love how elegant this one is it's just like simple and yeah and then on my middle finger on my left hand i have this like little gucci gg key ring i've had this for like four or five months and this has just like a bunch of diamonds on it like this has like a little key right there as you can see and it's just like diamond out so I will say the only thing with this one is I'm actually taking it back to Gucci to send to like the Gucci concierge service because this is not made right. Guys, I have like three diamonds missing out of the back of it and I'm not rough with my hands, but like, do you see that? There's like three diamonds missing and then off the front, there's also a few missing. So my little plug at Gucci, which you guys met in my birthday vlog, she said to just bring it to her and she'll send it off to get fixed, but, or they'll like send me a new one. But yeah, honestly, for paying the price that I paid for this baby, like it's not holding up too well. But I love it. I still love it. It's very beautiful and my last name's Goria. So I've always said that like the GG is like my logo. It's my thing. So I love having this. I also have this like little Gucci ring that matches the um, bracelet that I have. But it doesn't really fit on any of my fingers. I replaced it with this one which I would much rather have. So I don't wear it. But I still have it in case some days I'm like ooh. I don't wanna wear this ring, I'll wear this one. So this is just a pure silver ring like this. It's just a heart and it says Gucci. And then obviously on my wrist, I have nothing on this wrist. And um, this is just my watch. This is just like the Apple Series 6, the newest one watch with the white band, so. Fun, love that. All right, you guys, that is the tour of my everyday jewelry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't much, but this is currently what I'm working with and I'm currently loving this and I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with it. I know this rain was also crazy, so I apologize if you heard it, but I feel like I filmed in the moments where it wasn't raining too bad, so you should be good. You shouldn't be hearing like little trickling throughout the video. Again, I will link all this stuff down below for you guys. And if you guys have any suggestions on where to get like fun jewelry, trendy jewelry, but also jewelry that doesn't turn, let me know. I have a few in mind that I shop at, but I must also just kind of like spas, spas, spice this up a little. I'm going to totally get more pieces for my collection and just add more and just layer more because that's what I love now. Didn't used to love it back then, but I love it now. Okay, my quote of the day is, do not lower your standards, you deserve good things. I'm sorry, but that speaks for itself. I'm gonna say it again. Do not lower your standards, you deserve good things, period. I love you guys. Have an amazing rest of your day. Stay happy, stay beautiful. I love you.